crude oil. It starts out here in the ground, formed by organic materials that have been compressed under the Earth's surface for millions of years. And ends up here, powering cars, trucks, ships, and airplanes. And here, heating houses, churches, schools, and office buildings. And even here, in clothes, solvents, plastics, and chemicals. But to get to all of these places, the crude must first be pumped, piped, processed, and refined. This program is about one of the processes, catalytic cracking, that changes oil into products we can use. To understand and appreciate the catalytic cracking process, you need to know how crude oil is structured. Crude oil is made up of hydrogen and carbon atoms that have bonded together to form molecules called hydrocarbons. The hydrocarbons found in crude come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They range from small, simple compounds to large, complex molecules. Different types of hydrocarbons have different characteristics. Small or light hydrocarbons, like methane and propane, are easy to ignite, so they make good fuels. Heavy hydrocarbons, like dodecane, are thick or viscous, which makes them ideal lubricating oils. The goal in most refinery operations is to maximize the production of light hydrocarbons because they can be used in products like gasoline and petrochemical feedstocks that sell for the highest prices. The cracking of hydrocarbons is accomplished by a chemical reaction that uses heat, moderate pressure, and a catalyst to break down the molecules. The catalyst is a substance that promotes the cracking of oil. When the reaction is complete, the catalyst comes out just like it went in, except for some hydrocarbons and coke that are deposited on its surface. The catalyst can then be cleaned and reused. Heat is an essential part of the process. It is the source of energy that keeps the cracking reaction going. Temperature in the cat cracking vessel is usually in the area of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. A cat cracking unit consists of three major sections or parts. These are the reactor, the regenerator, and the fractionator. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at how the whole process works. 